All right, Sam, you're on the clock. What do you got? All right, I have an unpopular topical opinion that will get heated. And I understand the danger in it, and I understand why people don't like it. I do not vote. And let me state my case. I, I understand the danger of not voting, especially in, uh, in elections where both sides are so polarizing. And historically, only about 60% of Americans vote. Okay. And of course, to be democratic, to get people's opinions, it should be 100% of people. But me going out and voting will not change that. It will not, um, it will not influence an election. It won't change. It, it won't have any implications in the data of how many people voted because I am such a small person. I am one person. <laughs> I am a tiny little baby boy. I am one person in 300 million and I will not change the outcome. And you can say, okay, why don't you, wh why do you not litter? Like it won't really influence much of the world, but it will influence one person that sees it or has to pick it up. But this is an instance where if it doesn't change the outcome of the election, then it doesn't change anything. Have you ever peed into the ocean? Yeah. Have you ever been like, wow, I just made the ocean a little bit bigger? <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Still, that, that's... Uh, that, that is different because you, you different. added to the ocean. You are adding to the winning side's percentage or the losing side's but percentage. But I would never change the outcome of an election. And what that, does that peeing is what... in the ocean change? Well, because pee, peeing in the ocean isn't, isn't a binary outcome. Right, it's either win lose. Well, you also aren't peeing in the ocean to fill it up. You're yeah, but I'm just talking about the satisfaction oh, that comes I from do. being like my internal fluids went into this ocean, <laughs> and now the ocean is slightly bigger because of it. Does that ever hit you? Okay, so I would argue that it's so slight that it really doesn't matter. But also, this is, Austin said it right. This is strictly binary. If I don't influence the outcome, then I didn't do anything. Have you ever seen the movie Swing Vote with, I believe, Owen Wilson? No. The compelling story of a of a election that comes down to one man's vote, is, is although there, they disregard the electoral college completely. Is there a is time a, where that has happened? Not in the movie. No, no. you are okay. right. You were right. Once again, I don't. If you don't care about peeing into the ocean for the reasons that I've stated, that makes sense. But it is the same situation because, it, like I said, it doesn't matter if you pee in the ocean at all. Really, it also doesn't matter which way you vote. D d no matter what the decision is it's about participating in something bigger than yourself it's not like there's no tangible win to it but there can be an emotional metaphorical win that comes with it if this started on the premise of my vote will not change the outcome so why would i vote right he wasn't saying oh um i don't feel like there's any psychological emotional connection to me voting or not right like i think it, right. it stems from you being like okay this doesn't this isn't going to matter yeah and actually i i've held this opinion since i learned what voting was i was like what i was like why would i do that there's so many people that vote but i did vote in 2016 cuz i told my brother and he was like no sam you're a dumbass go to the polls and vote so i i did just to indulge him if one person convinced you to vote just because you would disappoint them if you didn't why would you not voting not therefore convince other people to vote It'd be like a butterfly effect of getting people to not vote because if everyone around you voted and that made you and like someone made you go, oh man, okay, I should vote, then you voting could do that to someone else and you could convince someone else to vote. And if that happens enough times, that does change yeah, things. Yeah, that's like a pandemic. It's like a, yeah. I influence someone to vote, they influence someone to vote. Yeah, but it, it's in the same way of like, why would you not wear a mask even if you're like, well, I probably won't get sick. All right. Can I can I devise a solution, perhaps? Because I've been thinking, because you brought this up a few weeks ago, so it has been on my mind a little bit, Sam. To what percentage of difference would it take for you to say, I will vote? If if I was like one in like 10, maybe 100,000 people, I would probably go vote. Okay, so, so that's that's a pretty like point small. Zero zero one, okay. Point zero 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 one percent. So if if I could if I could give you something, if I could provide a solution to you that would assure that your vote would be part of a 0.001% voter change from a ratio standpoint, would you then go vote? I would. So here's where we get to a really interesting point. Like, do we just create a Facebook page that says we're going to try to get to 0.001% change and you just get enough people to join it? Because then like you can identify, oh, me and these, you know, 
10,000 other people or whatever it is, 100,000 people moved the needle this much. Would that convince you to vote? Being a part actually, of that actually, group? Probably. Yeah, okay. I think it would. But then are you essentially not just a part of a larger Facebook group? I, I understand how that can be compounded and really get to the same position I'm standing in right now. Right. But when you even brought up the, the emotional... Psych- psychological aspect right sure. because at the end of the day that it stems from that too because you feel like your vote doesn't matter because the end goal is binary so if there was a group that wasn't the whole u.s population that you could be a part of and you're all like you know we don't really care that much but you know if we can see the needle move then then we'll play ball if could we it, do it this would, it would require a lot of people to even be pointed right what i'm whatever. saying though is like we have so many resources though could we could we make a, a joke we could we make this a joke that actually has a 0.001% change. If we can find en- enough people who hold your very opinion and supposedly and 40% this argument, of the US holds my opinion. Yeah, it's because I, I I get what they're saying, you know, like we are part of the whole population, my one vote doesn't matter, but if you're mm-hmm. a part of a specific 100,000, that's different. It yeah, it definitely is. And it's really not different, but it, it, it is feels not. very it's different. It, it's all about how you package it. It's all about yeah. packaging here. Also, it, it wouldn't have to be 100,000. Am I wrong? Because it, it it's electoral based. So we're talking about just the state of Florida. Oh, Oxo. and then we're talking about how many people vote every election in the state of Florida, because you're not convincing everybody else to vote. You're just being a part of the people that are voting. Yeah. So true. it's even it's an, a way smaller amount to try to get to that percentage point, especially considering how close it almost always comes in Florida. I remember the 2008 election being so close that they didn't even confirm how like who won until days after. I'll tell you what. I used to go to Taco Bell every day after school with my friends. And one day we did calculations and realized that our contributions to our local Taco Bell made about 0.05% of their weekly uh of their weekly income and we were ecstatic. <laughs> it was the we were like, "Wow, we are making a difference here." Uh and, and it was the best day. Business. It was one of the yeah, I was like, "Look at me. Yeah, supporting local businesses." <laughs> And uh, I, th- I think it's enough to get people going, being a part of any sort of like, oh, you can see a tangible percentage of where I'm at. Yeah. And Sam, I come at this from a position of someone who also isn't big into voting. I also have the thought of, oh, my vote's not going to matter because it is this zero sum game where one person's going to lose. And if I vote for the losing person, then my vote meant nothing other than I, you know, even if you vote for the I winning put a lighter person. up in what? Even if you vote for the winning person. Right. It, it didn't matter that you voted still. Right. Because it, the margin wasn't dependent on me. Right. It's kind of like those fish in Finding Nemo, the school of fish that all come together to make a big shape. <laughs> like that's essentially what we're trying to do here, right? Right. We're right. just trying I, to find the other that. fish, some other fish to, right. to make a shape with. Do you think that the people, do you think people not voting is equally as bad or worse or better than people that go and pencil in something ridiculous like all the people that penciled in harambe or i know someone that penciled in beyonce Mm. it's great those rhymed (laughs) kind of i'm not against either honestly really yeah because i i truly believe when i look at the debate that we watched the other night I, I don't blame anybody for not wanting to participate, and I don't blame anyone for wanting to make a mockery out of the system. Like, that does not bother me whatsoever. If they wanted people to turn out, they should have people that, like, are actually candidates to get excited over. So I, I don't blame anyone for being, like... I, I, I was, like, I was surprised you didn't write in, like, cock dog for, like, 2016 <laughs> election. Like, that just, like... Wait, wait. wait. <laughs> did you just come up with that on the spot? I did. I did. I guess so. That's I mean, it's such like, a meism. Yeah, point oh 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 one percent of Florida <laughs> voted for cock dog. Who is this cock dog, and how did we get him on the center <laughs> stage next year? I mean, the, part of our democracy is you can vote who, for whoever you want. But clearly, Beyonce and Harambe were not real votes, so that, that's not even third party. I mean, that that I, is just. I would not go up against the Beehive. I'll say it for Harambe, but I'm not going to say I won't say a single negative thing about Beyonce for in my entire life. It's but just not to, worth it. To vote for D's nuts or Harambe was just making a mockery of this system. Oh, absolutely. But is that a problem? If you're already there and you could vote, I don't. I disagree. But you guys know me. I'm a jest, and I. I that, that that's just how I feel. Like that. That's how you stick it to the man. Is being like, I'm not going to play your silly games. I'm not going to write in. You know, 
what's the Gary Gary Blauman? What was the, who is Gary J- Glenn Johnson? I don't even remember who the guy was. <laughs> um, I'm going to say that I think Jeb. that voting for um, a random third party candidate on the ballot is not better or worse than not voting. I think they are exactly the same. Yeah, I would agree. I would also agree. It it's interesting that you said how after watching the debate, you understood why people might want to pencil in someone else and just make a mockery of the system. Because mm. I, I would feel the opposite way. I would say after seeing that debate, it should incentivize you even more to go vote ag- even against because of how absurd the, the actions of the people on stage were. So, right, if you were really upset by either what Trump or Biden said, Mm-hmm. Then you sh- why why would your reaction to that be like oh cool I'm gonna go write in Harambe or Kanye West well as a reaction to be like see I don't care about you guys I agree with that because it was a a shit show overall but there was a a clear aggressor who was not playing by the rules so I mean it, like we're, now we're discussing two different things with what you guys are talking yeah. about you're talking okay. about trying to actively go against who is by far the the the, the main obvious problem. That's a different thing than what I think Timothy was talking about. I, I can't tell, though. I think I was getting at, like, your reaction to to having candidates that you don't like shouldn't be, I'm not going to vote for anyone. You should pick someone to vote for. Like, pick one of them? Yeah. Right. And that, that, that's what I'm saying. Like, I, I think that, that I completely disagree with that. I just don't see... You shouldn't have to play into the hands of people that do not respect you. And I don't, I don't see why that makes... like. If they didn't, they're, if they're a candidate, you shouldn't vote for them just because you have to. That defeats the right to vote. Your right to vote means you should do whatever you want. And I feel like the, sometimes the best way to be respected is to make a mockery of the system itself. Are people going to listen to me? No, but no one's going to care about your vote anyways. I would rather go in and do something for me than go in and, and play into the hands of somebody who thinks you have to vote for me because I am not someone else. So but you agree with Sam's initial argument? Yeah, quite that a really lot. Sounded that, like mine. That, no, I mean I do agree that the vote doesn't matter, I, except for the emotional. I made the emotional aspect. I think that peeing in the ocean matters to me, and I think going into the election and writing uh, "cock dog" is is going to matter to me. That's m- the most my vote could value. Yeah, and I I want to circle back and say. Everybody taking this opinion is really dangerous and why our democracy doesn't work great. You were just looking at it on the very micro scale. Me. Yeah. And as an individual who does not affect the margin with your singular vote. Right. And I really love all of the uproar to like try and push everybody to vote that's going on the internet right now. Right. That is great. That should happen. It is having a mass influence, but my vote will not influence it just to throw a stat out there voter turnout wasn't always like this it wasn't always like choosing between the worst of two evils in in fdr's second election voter turnout was like 85 percent in america people aren't voting because they feel disenfranchised by the political system and therefore i think that not voting is a sign that the system should change people aren't voting because they're lazy they're voting because they don't want to vote for these people and therefore i think that writing a fake name in is sending the same message it's saying i don't I won't play into your guys' hands. You guys are a joke, and I'm going to treat you like a joke. That's my stance. All right, and on that note, that finishes our time for this segment. Go team. Here we go. Radical. Nice move. Cock dog 2020. Cock dog 2020. Cock dog 2020. Cock dog. Cock dog, cock dog, cock diggity dog. Cock dog, cock dog, cock diggity dog.